Alright, this video is about my uh, power supply. Uh, I got this head of all Packard Bell computer uh, desktop that I was no longer using. And uh, I've got all these wires wrapped up the same colors. And I got this little LED light here that when you turn it on, you can see it light up. Otherwise, it won't all turn on unless the little wires that this light is connected to are connected. And you can see my fan going there using an automotive switch. <laughs> I don't know what these numbers mean, but this is what's on, on the uh, power supply. And ever since I got started in making HHOs, generators, uh, I wanted something to power instead of keep running out to my truck and hooking it to my truck. So I found out how to make a power supply so I got this out of the computer and make the power supply here's the sticker that's on my side of my power supply Let me zoom in if I can you can read everything that's on here this is what I use to power all the HHOs uh, the videos I've been making this is what I'm using closer sometimes my camera doesn't focus right sometimes it focuses good that makes a lot of sense anyways made in China made in Malaysia made in Taiwan this is my power supply uh, like I said I got this to power my HHOs and uh, I see some people's power supplies on uh, YouTube they get them all nice and cleaned up but uh, this works for me uh, I'm a rookie scientist uh, I like messing around with electronics I don't know that much about electronics I know that if you lick your fingers and touch a wire you get the hell shocked out of you uh, that much I, I learned very quick uh, Basically, I know how to work on automobile, electronics, uh, household appliance, uh, electronics I don't know anything about. I'm interested in uh, very much, so I'm trying to learn, self-teach myself, even though I shocked the hell out of myself the other day. Uh, I like Nikola Tesla and his uh, ideas about giving free energy to the world. I think the technology is out there. And people should learn and, uh, as much as they can about it. So I'm getting myself into solar power, wind power, LED lights, which take very little voltage uh, to run and they save a lot on your electric bill. I've been slowly switching over to all the bulbs in my house to LED bulbs. If you watch some of my videos, you'll see the LED light bulbs that I have. Uh, also, uh, I'm learning about solar and wind power and I'll be working on projects in those. This is the area where I film most of my uh, tests. Uh, when something feels kind of sketchy, I take it in the kitchen and I film over here on my sink. And I was making a mini micro uh, HHO generator the other day and I did, I just, I got the camera out, I just didn't film it and it exploded on me right over here so I got stuff all over the counter and I got it all cleaned up but this is basically where I film everything and uh, I always watch YouTube and make a lot of videos just right here this is my little work top desktop office top whatever you want to call it area right here and uh, my power supply so I got another little HHO generator that I'm working on uh, let me go show you what that is. I got it drying right now. This is my storage area. So inside here is my little mini, 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 micro mini. Uh, you can't really see. Let me open the door to get some sunlight in here. And see if I can hold it up to the light and you can see 
inside this little jar I have a micro mini it's smaller than a dime this is my second one the other one blew up because uh, it was pumping out a lot of HHO and uh, I lit this hose here and the whole hose lit up with fire and went into a similar jar like this and uh, blew the hose out and uh, shattered the jar and melted the in the process melted my little mini micro HHO generator so I made another one got another jar uh, this was a supplement vitamin drop jar that I got I made a bubbler and I got the hose here to light after it goes into the bubbler so this is what I'm working on I'm waiting for this automotive stuff right here to seal up and dry and then I'll be running a test on this one but in the meantime I have a new much taller generator that I took from my other micro, not micro, but my other mini HHO, which is this one, and got the idea, instead of doing four like this, I did just one long, long PEX tubing. I got about 300 feet of PEX tubing, so I used my PEX tubing, and I'm in the process of uh, uploading a video on that one right now. So, until then, uh catch you on the rebound. Later Gator.